Hello guys, it's me again, I'm Mar, and I'm back with another video. This video is gonna be a bit quick. I'm just gonna demonstrate how to enable the ADC bug and the differences between the um, the normal PBO, like setting it at auto versus this bug. So before we jump into the video, don't forget to hit like, subscribe to the channel, and let's do this. All right, guys. So first thing you wanna do is set your um, BIOS, the BIOS setting as default. And I already did that and let's see over here. All right. This is the normal PBO thingy. I didn't add anything to it. I didn't adjust the voltages or anything. So in this, uh, we have two key points here. We have to look at the V core and we have to look at the CPU core voltage, which is the SV12 TFN. All right. So, and yeah, and we gotta check our core clocks all right all right and i already like recorded the gameplay with this exact settings without anything like just normal pbo and with the edc bug enabled so and enabled and tweaked as well so yeah let's let's just like run cinebench here real quick all right we want to see our v core and CPU core voltage SV, SV12 TFN. All right. So let's run the multi threaded work. And I will reset this. So you can see our like the all core boost over here 4.225 voltage around 1.376 or 1.375. And the CPU, CPU core voltage, which is the SV12, is around 1.33, jumping around to 1.34. Like 1.33 to 1.34, all right? And yeah, those are the key points over here. Like, you gotta check your V core, you gotta check your uh, V core as well for the SV12 sensor. Like, I'm boosting around 4.225 barely pushing 1.25 so yeah um all right we done this and it's already like done and we're gonna check the single core as well and we have to check again the v core and the uh sv12 all right i'm gonna reset this as you guys can see i'm already like at 4.4 like the max 4.425 and the voltage is like 1.45 and for the uh, SV12 1.43 to max was 1.45 I already reset the um, hardware info so we can have like a kinda good reading on the um, single core versus the multi core so yeah yeah as you guys can see I'm still like at 1.4 1.45 to 1.43 something like that all right so i'm not gonna let you guys wait i'm just gonna close this we we already have our baseline all right so i'm gonna restart my pc and i'll um enable the edc bug and i'll take the screenshots and i'll show you guys all right guys so i'm back i already set the edc bug and i took the screenshots and i already did the gameplay as well but i'll show you guys the gameplay later between the normal pbo versus the uh, edc bug and you guys can see the actual boost that i get for the single core performance anyways um we're gonna do the same procedure again we're gonna look at the v core and we're gonna look at the uh sv12 sensor all right and we're gonna look at the um, core clocks all right so yeah let's do this all right as you guys can see i'm actually at 1.376 volts on the v core all right and 1.35 1.33 on the sv12 sensor so basically it's the same but the cpu is actually pushing a little bit more like i'm hitting like 4.375 stable like if i reset this it's gonna be like 4.375 to 4.35 all right the v core is at 1.375 and the um sv12 is at 1.34 all 
all right which is pretty normal for those two like similar to the pbo one so yeah similar to the normal pbo auto pbo so yeah all you gotta do is to check for the v core when you're at auto settings as well for the sv12 sensor which is the cpu core voltage sv12 tfn and you gotta check your cpu core clocks like where are they hitting like is, is it better is it worse like you have to check all these stuff and for the single core as you guys can see 1.44 1.42 and let's see i just i just reset it again and yeah 4.575 4.55 like it boosts itself a lot while maintaining the same v core values like 1.44 1.45 to 1.425 something like that something in that range but yeah i will show you guys the screenshots first before we jump into the gameplay footage the um normal pbo versus the edc bug pbo which is i already tuned and I, of course i will show you the settings as well all right let's let's go through the setting real quick um i'm on an i'm on msi board so let's see I'm gonna go to advanced CPU configuration and here comes the magic like you have to just go to um, change the precision boost overdrive to advanced PBO limits to manual leave everything as is just change the EDC to uh, from 1 to 10 I found the sweet spot is for my CPU at least at 7 and for the uh, PBO scalar count, just set it to manual and the scalar times 10. And then for the um, max CPU boost clock override, I set it at 450. And the package power limit is actually related to the PPT limit. So I set it at 165, which is a reasonable, you know, reasonable... Um, value all right and for the voltages i already reduced the um, cpu core voltage i changed the mode first to offset and then uh and then a negative offset and by 0 0.0375 volt and don't don't pay attention for the soc and the vddp and the dram voltages because i already tuned my ram on this and by the way guys if you guys didn't see that i'll link the um, video over here or somewhere anyways let's continue and for the cpu features which is which the setting you can find like way down on the overclocking menu i left everything at default but in digi power the vrm and stuff i just set the load line calibration control to mode 8 so the voltages will drop like drops a lot under load all right and the usual cpu switching frequency i set it at 600 kilohertz and yeah guys so that's the setting for the edc bug which gave me a quite good jump in single core performance and the um a multi-core performance so so yeah guys before we jump into the actual footage of the gameplay don't forget to hit like subscribe or leave a comment down below and yeah let's do this this must be where Nassan was supposed to check in.
This must be where Nassan was supposed to check in. Hunts over, fights on. Ah! <laughs> 